Hello. Hello, 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 beautiful souls. Mm, happy Monday. Hello, hello, hello. How is everyone doing? How is everyone feeling? Hello, Donna. Hello, beautiful. Let's see who else is here. Hello, Robert. Hello, Stephanie. Hello, Nika. Welcome, welcome, welcome. Please let me know who is new today. Let me know where you are from. And let's just start today by naming one thing that we are grateful for. So often in our lives, we are trying to reach for a better reality, which is what we will be talking about today. But let's just start by just acknowledging and appreciating anything in our life that we are grateful for. And you can feel free to just write it in the chat. Let me know, what are you grateful for? What are you thankful for? What is going fantastic in your life? Let me know. With this practice of gratitude is the very key to starting to shift our reality. So let me know who's here. And allow me to just hold loving space for you guys as you enter. I'm grateful to be here with each and every one of you, everyone that is here, everyone that will be here. I welcome each and every one of you guys today. I'm grateful just for your presence. I'm welcome. I'm grateful for Insight Timer. I'm grateful that I am able to help to create a beautiful community of beautiful people that are looking to better themselves, to better the world, to just be more love, to be more loving, to love themselves more, to love others more. I'm grateful to be on this planet most days, not all days, let's be honest, sometimes the world's a little bit of a shit show. <laughs> but most days, I'm grateful to be on this planet. I'm grateful to be here at this time of awakening. So as you come in, please say hello to me. Please utilize that beautiful chat box. Although I can't hear your beautiful voices, I would love to hear or read your beautiful words on the screen. So please participate with me. Please talk with me today. And um, let me know what you are grateful for today. I have gratitude to be a mom to my fabulous children. Yes, 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 yes. Beautiful, beautiful, Donna. I love it. And I bet that your fabulous children are grateful that you are their mom. Who else? What are you guys grateful for today? What are you thankful for today, everyone? Hello from Rhode Island. I'm grateful for you. Ah, oh, hello, Heather. Heather, I am. Um, I have it on my to-do list to email you today to check in with you. Um, so I will be emailing you today. So watch your email from me. Beautiful. Yay, cool. Um, everyone else, what are you grateful for? Heather had bought one of my courses that I had, so part of the courses is checking up on all of the beautiful people that signed up. What else are you grateful for? Let's take one more minute to just explode this beautiful chat box of gratitude. I'm grateful for my cat. Right now he has all these boo-boos on his back. Him and I are um, fighting the whole outside thing. He wants to be an outdoor cat, and I want him to be happy, and I want to give him freedom, and I want him to do what makes him happy. But every single time I let him outside, he gets a tick. And so now, he has all these ticks all over, he has all these, like, wounds all over him from, like, tick bites. And he has, like, all this, like, missing fur, and, like, wounds on his back. Hey, baby, you're in people's way. Lay down. And, um, but I'm grateful for him. We have a vet appointment tomorrow, so everyone send some healing and love to Zen. 
because we have a vet tomorrow. I have that appointment tomorrow. Uh, hello, guest. I don't know who the guest is, but hello. Um, hello from New York. I'm grateful for, for grace and favor. Yes. Yes, yes, yes. Beautiful. I'm grateful for my beautiful, fun, and loving wife and our life together. Yay! I love it. I love it. I love it. That's beautiful. I love it. What else are you guys grateful for? Let's take a couple more. Oh, I forgot my water. I need my water. I'll be right back, guys. I gotta get my water bottle. I want to keep seeing those gratitudes, though. Sometimes I put myself on a pretzel heel and then it's hard to get up. everyone well welcome 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 everyone I'm so happy to be here once again for anyone that doesn't know me yay grateful for your children and my family yay I love it so for anyone that doesn't know me anyone that is new here my name is Jenna Rose Giannetti and I am a spiritual and meditation teacher and a love and relationship coach and I help people to meditate to transform their trauma to heal their inner child to tap into a beautiful knowing of healing of transformation so that they can love more love themselves more love others more manifest the life of their dreams and help people to become more of enlightened sovereign souls so i welcome each and every one of you guys today know that i bless my space before i come live so feel free to uh feel all of the blessings and the love that i send out to each and every single one of you guys so if you're new please make sure to click the follow button and i go live monday through friday so today we're going to be talking about um shape shifting shape shifting and i'm so excited let me know if you know what that is if you don't know what it is um i've been doing a lot of shape shifting lately so it's just felt right that i come on and i just talk about it so before we do that i just want to invite all of us to just join hands if you are new i always start my circle and open up my circle by us just coming together in community and love and celebration so I'm going to ask you to just close down your beautiful eyes. Mmm, I feel so good. And just take three deep breaths. And out through your mouth. And I'm breathing with you. Breathing in. And breathing out. Breathing in. And breathing out. And as you continue to start your day, no matter what time it is, start to feel the love. Start to feel the compassion. Start to feel the empathy, the understanding that is present right now. Start to feel welcomed by me and everyone that's here in a way that you may have not felt welcome today. But start to feel the beautiful awakening of this circle. And start to imagine in your third eye, your pineal gland, a beautiful light starting from the crown of your head and moving through your whole entire body, relaxing every single part of your body, opening and expanding all of your cells, your atoms, your molecules to heal you, to transform you, to love deeper, to help to open and expand you into this beautiful sacred space that we are creating together and move this light all the way down to the soles of your feet, to the tips of your toes, 
and relax into this light and activate a sense of peace, activate a sense of tranquility, activate a state of love. And take one more deep breath, breathe in and breathe out. And on the exhale, imagine every single person that is here on the live right now gathered in a beautiful sacred circle. See all of us communing and gathering in a beautiful forest. And just imagine all of the people that will come and join the circle later as the circle gets bigger and bigger and see more people that will come and watch on YouTube and see the circle continuing to get bigger and bigger. And just grab hands with everybody that's in the circle and just start to create the intention of sacredness. Start to set the intention a love for your fellow soul, for your fellow person and feel the compassion moving through your hands as we are gathered. And send that light that you anchored into your body out through the whole entire circle. Sending it to everyone to the right. Sending it to everyone to the left. And lighting up the whole circle like a beautiful sun. And allowing this light to just heal us allowing this light to transcend us, allowing this light to teach us to love each other more deeply, more unconditionally, and more effortlessly. And rest in this light for just a moment. Feel the love and community that you may have not felt before. And thank everyone for joining. And then just open up your beautiful eyes. Come back into the space whenever you're ready. And welcome back, guys. Welcome back. <laughs> My cat is always also with us right now. Zen is with us. I ask you guys to send him some light and send him some healing. He has boo-boos all over him. This poor little kitty cat boy. So anyways guys, today we are going to be talking about shape-shifting. What is shape-shifting? Does anyone know what shape-shifting is? What is shape-shifting? And please feel free to write in the chat, communicate with me, conversate with me today. What is shape shifting? I'm looking for some comments, guys. Talk to me. I don't know. Thank you. Yes. Yes. Thanks for saying you don't know. It's always great to just participate. There's so much beauty in just the, I don't know. Yes, transformation, what else? What else do you know about shape shifting? If you don't know, that's okay too. That's why you're here. A guess is changing us from one way of being to another. Yes, 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 absolutely. So, beautiful. So, in you know, um, mythology and fairy tales and 
all this idea of fairy-like stuff, the idea of shape-shifting has been literally changing your physical self to another self. You know, we've all seen in movies the Transformers and Superman and all those things. Those, that's an idea, a fairy tale-like idea of physically transforming. Although we don't have to be a superhuman or a superhero to do this. Shape-shifting is literally just changing from one form to another. It's from changing one state of being to another state of being. And it can be as simple or it can be as complex as you would like it to be. I talked a little bit about this on Friday with healing. And I talked about how if we have pain in our body, for example, let's say you have a pain in your right foot, but your left foot feels good, then shape, sh shape shifting is literally transferring the good feeling, the healing of your left foot to your injured right foot. And it's shifting your consciousness in a way to transform, to heal, to renew. You can do this with your body. You can do this by healing your own body. You can do this by helping others, healing others. You can do this by um, literally quantum jumping into another reality. Shape shifting could literally be you changing directions, you changing paths you changing destinations and you know you think about how far technology has come right think about this for a minute think about how you could drive from maine in the united states to california and you could you could walk <laughs> and it would probably take you i don't even know how long it would take months to walk from maine to California, right? You could drive from Maine to California and it could take you days, maybe a week, right? Or you could fly from Maine to California and it would take you a few hours. So this is an example of shape-shifting and how quickly or how slowly we can choose to transform ourselves because you know and and i'm so happy to know that science is pro is finally coming to figure this stuff out but everything in our reality is moving through us we're never actually moving and i know that's like mind-blowing to think about because it seems like we're always moving but it is an illusion we're always pretty much standing still and time and space is moving through us. We are the creators of our reality. So when coming back to the idea of shape shifting is transforming one part of ourselves into another part of ourselves. Does it, am I making sense? Yes, no? So I want you to, uh, if there's anyone, I want to give an example of a way that we can shape shift, how we can change our consciousness. So is there anyone here that's experiencing any kind of physical pain? Physical pain. If you are experiencing any kind of physical pain, leave it in the comments below. And I'm going to give an example of how we can shift our consciousness and shape shift to heal, to heal our body, to heal our mind, to heal our emotions. We can do this if we're going through depression. We can remember a time in our lives where we were really happy and move that memory of us being happy into the moment that we are at now. So if, is there anyone that's experiencing any kind of physical pain? 
let me know if there's anyone that's experiencing any physical pain. It can be a headache. It can be a problem with your hands. It can be a, whatever it is. Let me know. If there's no one feeling physical pain, then I'm so happy. <laughs> I'm so happy if no one's experiencing any physical pain. I'll open it up to emotional pain, mental, or if there's anything that you want to change in your life. We'll keep it broad since no one's commenting. Leave in the comments something that you're trying to overcome, whether it's physical, mental, emotional, somewhere you're trying to be. Nothing. I hear crickets. I'm hearing crickets, guys. Talk to me. I love you. So when we start to learn shape-shifting, we can literally change every single part of our lives, leaving it so that there was nothing that's unhealed, that there was nothing that's not changeable. We are the cradles of our reality, and you can think about that as big or as small as you want to. But when we start to learn and recognize that we are the creators of, of our reality, then we start to realize that there's nothing that we can't change. There's nothing that we can't heal. There's nothing that we can't overcome. We are constantly changing and shifting different parallel realities. And so this idea of shape-shifting is us moving to another reality, moving to another time and space where what we most prefer becomes our reality. So someone had asked me on Friday, they said that they were going through... Um, something with a friend and feeling like um, they wanted to help their friend. Oh, Dave, what'd you say? For me, it's to keep my balance throughout the day. I'm concerned about the future. Not sure if this makes sense or is a real problem. Yeah. What I hear is anxiety. It's anxiety. Whenever we are worried about the future, Anxiety exists in the future. Guilt exists in the past. And so another thing that we can do and is, um, oh my goodness, I, I forgot that. I'm blanking on it. T I call it like timeline jumping, but not, not timeline jumping. Um, you can imagine yourself going into, and we can do this, you can imagine yourself going into the future and then you can imagine yourself going into the past and bringing the feeling into the now moment to then settle the, the future anxiety that you're having. Because anxiety, if you're not thinking about the future, anxiety can't be a feeling in a moment unless we're, we're anxious about something. The idea of being anxious means that our consciousness is in the future. So Dave, I want you to close your eyes for a minute and I just want you to play with me. And I just want you to imagine a time in your life where you were feeling completely balanced. Think about a time in your life where you weren't feeling any kind of worry. You weren't thinking about any kind of anxiety. But you were feeling just at peace. Think about any memory that you have that was delightful. Any memory where everything around you was going well. 
And just hold that memory in your mind for a minute. And just play that memory in your mind. And just keep it there. And with that memory in mind, I want you to start to shift that feeling, feel into that feeling, feel the feeling that you were feeling when you were experiencing that great memory. Feel into that feeling, whether it was joy, balance, excitement. And I want you to bring that feeling into this moment. Start to imagine as if you are like pulling like um, a rope and you're pulling that feeling, that memory into this moment. And just start to shift and take your hands like and reach out like you're reaching out to the past and then place that past into your heart. And then feel the feelings and shift it into this moment and come back into this moment now and start to feel the feelings the happy moments the memory and you may have to do this a couple times so then go back to the past reach your hands back out and remember that memory again picture the memory see the memory vividly Feel the memory, the joy, the excitement, and then start to rope and pull it into this moment, into your heart. Place your hands on your heart. You can do this on your head. You can do this on your legs. You can do this wherever you feel you need to bring the memory into. And feel you slowly but surely starting to feel more balanced. And then go back again, moving your hands. Go back to that memory of balance, of peace, of joy. Experience it and pull it back into this moment. And then come back into this moment. And just continue to do that over and over and over again. And at first it might be a little uncomfortable to do. It may feel a little bit silly. But we have to remember that everything in our reality is energy. Everything's energy. And as you look into the past and you're experiencing those feelings, you can't not feel the feelings that you felt when you look back in the memory. Think about it. If you are experiencing a memory of joy, of balance, of peace, and you're experiencing that memory in your consciousness and you're feeling how you felt in that memory, you are feeling it, you are perceiving it from this moment, from this lens. So as you go back and you feel the joy and you feel the excitement, you feel the happiness, you are experiencing the joy, the happiness. You are feeling those feelings. And this is why trauma get so stuck in our body because the same thing happens every single time we look back at a memory of trauma every time we look back at a traumatic memory in our lives we are re-experiencing what we felt when we went through that trauma and science has now shown that every single time we go back to a memory we are reshaping it. We are changing it. This is why you can be in a room with a bunch of friends and you guys can all be talking about an event that you guys were at together 10 years ago. And you guys all remember the event differently because every single time you guys went back into that moment and that memory, you shifted it. You changed it. And this is what I do with my clients who have experienced a lot of trauma as we start to change the trauma because the secret and I promise you and this isn't just woo-woo stuff I promise you you can not only heal and transform your trauma but you can change it so that your trauma never happened 
Now, with that being said, your trauma will always exist in a certain reality because there's infinite realities. But what happens is every time we look into the past, we're moving into a different reality where we're no longer experiencing that trauma. So this is the same idea with shape-shifting is that you are moving into a new reality where you are feeling balanced, where you are feeling healed. Yvonne, I recently retired. I would like to leave feel of not having enough. I know that the universe is limitless. Yes. Yeah, so Yvonne, again, I would just, for this, I would really start to just meditate on the limitlessness of the universe. Feel into the feeling of having enough of having more than enough. I would practice with this is, you know, if you're eating, let's say you're eating some lunch, start to feel into, I have enough. I have enough food. I have enough food. I am an abundant in food. I am abundant in happiness. If you are laying on your couch and wrapped in a blankie and a pillow, start to feel I am in enough comfort. I am in an abundance of comfort. And start to shift your, your mind into the now. If you are desiring more money, Yvonne, let's say for example, start to imagine, or even let, let's play with this for a minute, okay? We all know Tony Robbins, right? We all know who Tony Robbins is. Tony Robbins has, or Bill Gates. Pick, pick someone, pick anyone that you desire if you're working through money. And think about anyone that you, that, and this can be someone far that you don't know, far, or someone that you do know. And think about someone that's really abundant and really wealthy. And just... Imagine just for a moment that you are them. Imagine what their life is like. Put yourself in their shoes as if you are them and you are seeing the world from their lens. And feel into their abundance. Feel into their wealth. Picture all of the things that you can buy Picture all of the money that you are saving. Picture all of the vacations. And then start to again shift, move that energy into this moment. Feeling all of the things that you can buy, all of the places that you can go. And then just feel that for a moment and then shift your consciousness back to you being this person with this huge bank account, with the luxury, with the limitless. And then bring that feeling back into this moment, shape it back into this moment, bring it back into your current body and feel it as it is yours. Feel yourself in this abundance. Feel yourself in this limitlessness. Feel yourself in this love. And then shift your attention again back to them, what their life is like, the car that they drive, all of the delicious food that they eat, Imagine how they feel in their body without worrying about their security, their stability. And then bring that feeling of not being void, of being stable, of being secure into this moment. And feel it. Feel the wealth. Feel the abundance. Feel the prosperity. And just continue to do this over and over and over and over again. that helps.
Two years ago, I moved to the U.S. to study a master's degree, starting a new life for me and my family. This is shape-shifting. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Absolutely. You shape-shifted into a new reality. Absolutely, you did. And you got to remember that sometimes it takes time. I'm going to give back the example of sometimes we have to honor the... Um, we have to honor the time and i hate it i hate that we have this illusion and that's what it is we have this an illusion of time right we can drive uh, or we can walk from maine right to well let, let's give a bigger example okay we can yeah i'm gonna keep that example we can walk from maine of the United States, and if you guys are if you guys are tuning in from somewhere other than the United States, the Maine is on one side of the United States, and California is on the other side of the United States. So you can walk, and it will take months, right? Or you can drive, and it might take a week. Or you could fly, and it will take a couple hours. So shape shifting can take as long as we are vibrationally able to do sometimes when we are trying to leave a relationship sometimes it takes years to try to leave that relationship sometimes it takes years of being unhappy to finally leave sometimes it takes months to finally leave sometimes that takes days to finally leave sometimes some Sometimes we might wake up one morning and say, well, you know what? You didn't treat me so well. I don't like how you treat me. I'm out. I'm not looking back. And the reason is because we have to vibrationally get ourselves there. And sometimes we're all the way in the main of the United States. And we can't get to California in a couple hours because we don't have a plane, we don't have the car, we don't have the instrument, or in other words, we don't have the self-esteem, we don't have the worth, we don't have the love to get us there yet. And so we have to walk a little bit, we have to walk and feel the vibration of worth. We have to feel the vibration of self-esteem. We have to feel the vibration of love. And then once we feel worthy, once we feel loved by ourselves, once we feel enough self-esteem for ourselves, then we can leave that relationship like that. Everything, 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 everything always happens in a moment. Everything happens in this moment. But sometimes it, we have to shift slowly and then when we are vibrationally ready, that moment happens, and then we change. Sometimes your joy is your source of smile, but sometimes your smile can be a source of joy. Yes. Good, Dave. I'm glad. So any questions on shape-shifting? So shape-shifting is just shifting our consciousness from one area to a different area. The best way is to do this for physical pain. If, so I have been going through um, a lot of stomach issues lately. I've been going through a lot of gut problems. Um, and I don't, I don't know why I've been sick. It keeps coming and going, coming and going. Um, but yesterday I had to do this. I asked my partner who's Stomach was fine. His st well, this was the day before yesterday. I, his stomach was fine. His stomach wasn't hurting. And so I shape-shifted, and I moved my consciousness from his stomach of feeling good, of feeling healthy, to my stomach to feel better. And I just kept doing this. I kept feeling, okay, my stomach feels good like his stomach feels good. And I kept moving the energy back, right? And then I imagined a time when my stomach felt good and that I didn't even think about my stomach and how I didn't even think about any problems and that how when I felt completely healthy and I kept shifting it back and back and back into this moment. 
Beautiful. Any questions, guys? Questions, feelings, ideas? I'll open this up for just a minute. I'll open this if anyone has any questions about anything. It doesn't have to be about shape-shifting. It can be about anything. Let me know what you guys are in need of. Oh, I have a little Buddha that fell on the floor. Look at this cute little, um, oh, I'm sorry, this isn't Buddha. This is ganache. Look at this cute little ganache crystal. It's a, can you see? It's really cute. Anyways, thank you, thank you, thank you, Dave. Thank you so much. Thank you, thank you, thank you. Oh, that means so much, Dave. You know, the donations really do mean so much to me. I'm sure they mean a lot to everyone, but the, the donations mean so much to me because it really does show me that I'm helping people, and that's why I'm here. I want to help. I want to empower. I want to love. I want to help to make this world better every single day. So thank you, Dave, for that. Thank you, everyone who continues to support me. You know, I value the equal energy exchange. You know, all of people have jobs. People go to work. People, you know, and this is my job. This is my work. Doing this live on Insight Time or doing my coaching business, doing my courses. This is what I'm here to do. You know, so thank you for those donations. It helps me to know that those are energy exchange. So thank you for that. I'm very humbly grateful. Yay, Leon, I love you. All right, anyone else? Any questions before we meditate? All right, guys, so last week my music wasn't working. Um, so I want you to tell me if the music is working this week or not. Let's find out. Let me know. I'm going to play some music. You guys let me know if you hear anything, okay? Okay, I hear that music. Do you guys hear that music? A little bit of a sound check. No! Oh, I don't know why this is doing that. See, I hear the music. Hmm. Okay, thank you so much, Dave. See, I don't know why that's happening because I can hear this music playing. Let me know. I'm going to uh, fidget with this for a minute. Tell me if you guys can hear anything. No, still nothing. Dave, you have a beautiful day. Alright, headphones off? No, they're on. I just don't know. Hmm. I don't know. Try unplugging the headphones. Well, I tr I don't think it's the headphones because it's coming from um, my laptop. I don't know. All right, well. How about now? No? I don't know. Select share laptop audio. Yeah, I don't know. I have a cord that, um, ugh. Well, I don't know. We might not have music today. You guys hear my microphone, though, right? That works. Yeah. All right, well, I don't know. I surrender. I surrender. Anywho, all right, well, since the music's not working, 
Um, Okay. Anywho, all right. Well, we're going to leave the meditation. Um, does anyone have any questions, comments, feelings before we do that? Also, I am excited to announce um, I still have my sexual cord cutting course. If anyone is interested in that, the um, exercise of cord cutting helps us to let go of past energy blocks, cut cords from past lovers to gain back our own energy that was lost. Um, I recommend this course that I have to anyone that has been raped or molested. Um, anyone who is still thinking about an ex, can't seem to get over an ex. Anyone that's trying to manifest or bring in more money, lose weight, or trying to attract the love of your lives. A lot of times the reason that we aren't manifesting the partner that we most prefer is because we still have the energy of past partners within us and we're still holding on to their energy um, we still have a cord connected to them which that which then prevents us from attracting our new level so if anyone's interested in that i will leave that and um so every single month i have a women's group um actually i have a sacred women's circle I also have a women's group on Facebook. I'm going to invite all of you women to. It's completely free. And um, it's just a group where women can come together and love and unite with each other. It's called the Labyrinth Within Goddess Women Group. So I'm going to leave that below for all of you ladies, all of you women. Uh, ladies only, though. Just to respect the, the ladies. Um, let me know if that link posted. And so every single month I have a sacred women's circle. And this month I'm so excited, so excited to announce that I am doing a special women's group this month. It is called um, Embracing a Spooky, um, what did I name it? Embracing a Spooky Darkness. Embracing a Spooky Darkness. And it is... On Halloween, it's going to be a Halloween event for ladies. And, oh, it's called Embracing Our Spooky Darkest Desires. Or, or something like that. I can't remember what I named it. Um, but the whole event is talking about our sexual desires, the desires that we don't talk about, the things that we are most interested in, the things that... Um, we prefer our kinks, our wants, our needs in sex, our needs in love. Um, and this is, again, a women's only group. And we're going to get together and I'm going to give a little bit of a talk of how we can honor our deepest, most intimate, most darkest desires and wants in sex and love. Um, even when it's taboo, even when it goes against society and society norms. And um, this event, and I'm so excited about this. Again, it's ladies only. It's also invite only, which is why I'm telling you guys, because I will not be posting this event. I'll, I'll, I'll talk about it. Um, but it's invite only to keep the intimacy of the women and the a privacy intact, but it will be lingerie just for ladies. And all, us ladies are going to come in lingerie on Halloween on Zoom and talk about our sexuality, our wants, our desires. So if any of you ladies are interested in joining, please send me a private message. You can message me here or you can message me on Instagram. My Instagram is Jenna Rose Genetti. And you guys can follow me there and just send me a message and I will send you guys a private invitation. Um, but I'm super, super, super excited about this. I'm doing, um, I'm pairing up with another beautiful sexual coach, another sexual healer. And um, together we are putting on this beautiful live for all of you women. So let me know if that link tree and we're going to meditate now, guys. You guys ready to meditate? 
we'll do a little shape shifting. And um, did my link post, guys? Do, do you see that link tree? Yes, no. Yes, okay, good. All right, let's try this music one more time. If it doesn't work, we have to do it without music. Still nothing. Still no music, guys. record all of these meditations it will just have to be silent today but if you do listen to this after on insight time it will have music on it then oh i think we have our music man coming real quick music man we have a problem yeah we don't have music playing have you tried hitting the volume on that i've tried everything it hasn't been working in a week excuse me guys we have some technical difficulties we're gonna get the music man to fix it <laughs> this is why we have partners, right? So they can fix our music. Everything's plugged in. Mm -hmm. Nothing's working. Mm. Meow. You don't know? Nope. All right. Um, let's see. If you can't get it, then I'll just do it without. Because these people have been waiting long enough. Right, people? Mm. Thanks, guys, for your patience. If it's not playing now. Let me know <sighs> if you guys hear any music coming. Thanks, guys. No music still? Yes! Oh, they heard music. Okay. Do you guys still hear music? Many other things in life, too. So, having a partner will help specifically to combat that. Yay! Music! Yay! I'm going to say thanks, Levi. Woo! Woo! How'd you do that? Uh, I think that connector was loose, maybe. See, sometimes I don't know how I would ever leave this man because how would I ever get the music and the technology working? Sometimes I wonder if I stay because of the technology. <laughs> I'm kidding. Thanks, Levi. All right, can we meditate now? Let's meditate. Woo! Actually, guys, can you excuse me for one moment while I use the ladies' room? <laughs> I'll be right back. Then we're going to meditate, I promise. meditate I love you guys all right no spring streaming tinkling in the background no I went to the all right guys All right, guys, here we go. I'm going to ask you guys to please close down 
Your beautiful eyes. And just start to feel into your beautiful plant reality. And just start to take a deep breath in through your nose and out through your mouth. Breathing in and breathing out. And start to imagine something in your life that you intend to change. Breathe in. Whatever it is that you desire to change, to shift, in your now reality. It can be physically something that you desire to heal, an emotion, a feeling, imagine something in your reality that you seek to move. And with this beautiful intention and desire to shift and change, imagine at the base of your spine a beautiful red rope starting to anchor into the ground, all the way to the core of earth. And feel this cord completely grounding you into the earth. And as you ground into the earth, Trace this beautiful red rope all the way up past your root, up your spine, and see this beautiful red rope completely anchored and rising up above your head up past the sky past your perception all the way up to source to all that is and start to bring your awareness something in your life that you desire to change. You desire to shift. You desire to heal. And feel into that. Whether it's physical pain, emotional pain. Mental pain. And now start to shift your attention to a moment in your life Were you experiencing the opposite of what you're trying to shift? If you're experiencing physical pain, imagine a moment where you did not experience this physical pain. 
if you are shifting emotional distress, imagine a time where you want feeling this emotional stress, but we're feeling free. If you are trying to let go of any kind of mental frustration, anxiety, remember a time when you weren't feeling this way. You also can choose to imagine a person that may have what you desire. And as you imagine this, feel what it feels like to live in this memory, to live as this person, to have this desire. and feel what it feels like. And as you feel into this reality, start to bring this feeling of this reality into this version of you and shift that feeling into the moment, into the you. Feel your body, your mind, your soul, your spirit starting to shift. And gently bring your awareness back to that memory, that moment that person and feel the feelings what it feels like to have what you desire what it felt like to live in that memory that moment breathe and shift that back into this moment, allowing it to flood into your body. If you're experiencing any physical pain on your body, bring that new feeling into that pain, allowing you to allow the pain to dissipate and then continue to just go back and forth, back and forth, experiencing the memory, the feeling that you most prefer and bring it into this moment. And do this as many times as need be to feel better.
and start to recognize how everything is perception. How our perception brings our feelings. And start to shift your perception to change in this moment. to bring about a new body, a new mind, a new heart, a new feeling. Feel every cell, every atom, every molecule, Shifting, changing. And bring your awareness to a version of you that you most prefer. See yourself living, experiencing, feeling how you desire to feel in this reality in this moment, in this time and space, and gently bring that version of you into the now you. And see yourself exactly how you desire to be in your desired body with your desired mind, with your desired heart, your soul, your spirit. And see this version of you standing right in front of you. And as you see this version of you standing in front of you, start to allow this version of you to walk towards you. And as it gets closer and closer, the attraction between this version of you and the version of you that you desire to be becomes magnetic. Notice that as this version of you starts to move towards you, you start to move towards it, magnetically pulling both of you guys together until finally you guys collide and become one. And as this version of you that you desire to be mates and melts in to the version of you that sits here now, start to feel this new version of you becoming the now version of you see yourself changing, see yourself shifted, see yourself new. How do you feel being in your desired body, thinking with your desired mind, feeling with your desired heart? And breathe in and breathe out. Breathe in and breathe out. And whenever you're ready, you may wiggle your fingers, your toes. Counting down from five to one. When I get to one, opening up your eyes, coming back into the space. Five. Four, three, two, and one. Welcome back, new versions. Welcome back. You are beautiful. You are secure. You are perfect just as you are. I thank each and every one of you guys for joining on this beautiful shape-shifting meditation. Please let me know in the comments below what you felt, 
what you experience, what changed in your reality, and know that you can use this exercise whenever you want, imagining what it is that you desire, bringing it into this moment, and going back and forth, back and forth. If you enjoyed this meditation, and you enjoy the beautiful content, motivation, and love that I send to you, please feel free to leave a donation. For every single donation helps me to continue to shift my reality to help me to shape shift into the abundant, wealthy, loved meditation, spiritual teacher, and love and relationship coach. If anyone's interested in a one-on-one, -on -one, please reach out. I love you. I respect you. I see you. And bowing down with me, namaste. Have a beautiful day, guys. I love you. All right, guys, we are back. We are back. And just change this music. Alright guys, let me just save this audio. Let me know what you guys felt, what you guys experienced in the meditation. guys well thank you so much for joining i appreciate you guys so much please make sure to follow me if you aren't yet following me please feel free to join my circle generos genetti love lights check out all of my content um, i have courses that you can sign up for those one-on-one -on -one coaching if anyone's interested in that I have a women empowerment group that you can join on Facebook if you are a beautiful goddess woman. And I have my sacred women's circle coming up on Halloween that I'm super excited about. Um, embracing your spooky desire. And um, just thank you guys. Thank you for your love. Let's close down this beautiful sacred circle that we created, but never close down the love. So I'm going to invite you to close down your eyes. Take three deep breaths in. And then imagine all of us gathered. See all 146 of us. All holding hands, all anchoring in this light, all anchoring in the love, the respect, the honesty, the support. Feel this beautiful community that we have created together. Feel how a community is better than one. Feel all the love, the compassion, and the support that is present in this beautiful sacred circle. And with this beautiful circle and this beautiful light, thank everyone for joining. Taking a deep breath in and a deep breath out and recognizing that although we may all be in different bodies, we are all one soul. And placing your hands at your chest, bowing down with me. Namaste. For my soul recognizes your soul, that we are one soul in many bodies. Have a beautiful day, guys. I love you, and I will see you tomorrow at 6 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. Bye, guys.